Right, so today I want to talk about tables and specifically borders and spacing that you can put inside of tables. So I have here a very basic HTML table. There's a head section, a body section, one row inside the head, four rows inside the body, and three columns throughout. Now, I have gone into the styling here and removed all of the padding and margin on everything on the body. And then I've added back two REMs of padding above and below the table, and I've centered the table on the body. I've put a bo red border on the outside of the table, and then that's it. That's all the styling that I've done here. So we've removed all of the possible spacing with padding and margin. So all of the uh, CSS box model spacing has been removed. Now, first we'll start with the borders. We've got a T head, T body, TR, TH, and TD. The only elements that we can actually put a border on are the table heads, the table data, so the TH and the TD, and then the table itself. So here we have the table, we've got the red border on it. If I were to go inside of here and try and add a border, save that, nothing comes up here. We can refresh the page, nothing comes up. So T body, no border and I can move this down into the TR, same thing happens. We don't get any borders. But if we come down and we move that down inside the TH, there we go. We can see that that does work. And then if I make a copy of this and move it down into the TD, save that, there we go. We have borders around all of the cells inside the table and a border on the table itself. Now, you'll see that the content inside of here is t almost touching. It is touching right here. It's almost touching here. It's touching at the bottom. And that's because we've removed the padding. If we put padding back inside of here, so let's put a one REM of padding and we'll do that inside of both the TR and TDs. There we go. We've created space around each one of these elements. That's padding, so that's inside of the border when you're thinking about the CSS box model, but margin is not gonna have any impact here. If we come in and we say margin, and I am gonna put in 12 REMs, a massive amount of margin, nothing happens here. And that's because we can't apply margin to anything inside the table. The table itself, yes, but on the TD and the THs, the TRs, we cannot add margin. However, there is this gap in between each of these, and that gap is controlled by a property that we put on the table called border collapse. And we can set it to collapse or the default, which is separate. Right now it is separate. So if I do this, no change at all. And, but it does keep the borders separated. Each one of those cells has a separate border and we can control the gap between those with a property called border spacing. If I do one REM border spacing, there we go. Now we've created these gaps between all of the borders. If I take my border collapse and I change that back to, or not change it back to, but change it from the default, change it to collapse, this is what happens. The table border and all of the THs and all the TDs, their borders, wherever they're beside each other, they collapse, they merge, they become a single border. So we have no more, it doesn't matter what we put in here for the border spacing, that's gone. The collapse says we only want to treat it as if there is one border. Now, background colors, we can do background colors on any one of these elements. So I could set a background color on the table. So there's the whole table. If I wanted to do something inside the T head, background color, make that white. There it is. So this area is now white. Inside the T body, we can do the same thing. Background color, go lime. There's the whole thing. TRs, well, every single TR. So this is a TR and there's four down here. So there's five in total. If I put background color, 
let's just go aquamarine. There we are. The entire table has been changed. So we're layering background colors. There's the table, and then the tea head, and then the tea body, and then the TRs on top of that. And then on top of the TR, we have the TH and the TD. So if we put background colors here, there we go. And TD, well, that's individual cells right here. Now, if I want to do alternating colors, that's the last thing I wanted to show. If I wanted to do inside the body, so just these four cells right here, or these four rows right here, every other one, give it a different background color. We could say inside the T body, my TRs, I'm going to use nth child, and then we can actually put in the keyword odd or the keyword even, and target those individually to give a different background color. just like that. All right, so border collapse, border spacing on the table element controls the amount of gap that there is between these borders. Borders can be put on the table itself or on the cells, the THs and TDs. Background colors get layered, and then we can use nth child to do alternating rows. So I hope that helps you out with all your table work. If you have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.